Have you ever planned a really special trip? You've researched the location, planned the time and date, made the journey, only to be completely let down by the results. Well, so have I many, many times. Today I'm going to talk about how I changed that, and it might be in a way that you might not have thought about. Well, good morning, and welcome to another video. Today we're visiting a place called Bird's Rock in the middle of Snowdonia, Craigada Derin, for anybody Welsh watching. And this must be one of the most Nordic places I've ever seen in Wales. Today's shaping up to be pretty special. By the way, if anybody's watching this hoping to come and visit this location as on some sort of trip or something, there is a uh, campsite right at the foot of it. So the perfect spot if you want some easy photography tourism. Okay, let me talk you through this composition because it, it's a bit of an awkward one. So I want to use this road behind me as a sort of a leading line up to the Bird's Rock. And because of the ground I'm on, it's on a really slanted angle, so I can't use my tripod, which means I'm going to have to use a high ISO because, as you can probably tell, it's pretty windy and I'm not going to be able to take a fast shutter speed without using the high ISO because of the flat light. It means I can do it handheld without getting too much camera shake and I can actually make this composition work. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to balance this tree with the rock itself and using the road as the leading line. If only there was a bit nicer light this could be one of my best pictures ever but I've decided I'm going to stop complaining about bad light because I live in Wales what do I expect? As if I needed it to be any more Nordic a Volvo has just driven past really does feel a little bit like Scandinavia this morning, except it's a little bit warmer. <laughs> right, we are making our way up and it's a lot bigger than I thought, so I think we're in this for the long haul. Get ready for a very sweaty man in a minute. I don't know why I'm doing the whole walk back and forth thing. I've got ages to go and I'm already out of breath. Might not do many more of them. So while we're on the way up and it's relatively quiet here, we're on the right side of the hill for there to be no wind. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about the results you get from your photography. You see, for a long time, especially this winter, I felt like I had just lost it. I didn't get any of the results that I was hoping for with my photography. I went out so many times with these expectations of what I expected of myself to get and I didn't reach them. I actually thought, this is it. I've lost my ability to be a photographer. My mojo, as I said uh, to my wife, had just completely gone. I thought, maybe this is time to just, you know, hang up my overly expensive camera bag and quit photography. I genuinely thought that. And you may have noticed in the last couple of videos that my energy has been a lot better with my photography. And that's because I changed something very specific with the intention of that. Right, last push up to the top. I'll see you up there. Ah. Why is it that the best adventures is always so hard to film? <laughs> oh man. It's turned. The weather has turned. As is expected, when you go on adventures in Wales, you're gonna get caught a very heavy shower that just comes out of nowhere. Be prepared. Never gets old. Right, I hope you can hear me okay. Got a sudden burst of light just off in the distance, uh, so I've had to be really quick with this. I've already fired off a couple of pictures, but I thought I'd come back and get you to show you. I might focus staff this, I might not, it depends how it turns out. Uh, I'll take the pictures, but it might not need it. But uh, if we just go F11, sorry about the terrible recording, but uh, as you can see, it's not the best conditions. I think I'm gonna get my tripod to get a better picture, but uh, I just want you to see the thought process. Grass leading off into the horizon where there's light happening and as you can probably tell quite a bit of rain this is uh, just about as close as I'm willing to get to the edge um, 
Although I'm not scared of heights, I do get very wobbly legs when uh, I'm near it. It's sort of a vertigo feeling. It's weird, I climb up ladders all the time in my day job. Um, not a fear at all, but when I'm near a cliff edge, I can see the thing. I can feel it happen now, my legs go all wobbly. Must be some sort of primal instinct kicking in. Probably not a bad thing. I've got a wet body now. I've even got a sit pad with me, just didn't bother getting it out. Laziness strikes again. What a rubbish view! What the heck is this? I see so much of this on my walks, it really it's just it's right by a bench as well. I cannot believe the indignity of some people. Anyway, I've picked it up now, so now it's my rubbish. Oh, I've got to carry it down somehow. I'll find a pocket or something to put it in. Don't litter. It's not cool. <clears throat> You're right, mate. Oh, it's a bit worse for wear. Come and have a sit down with me. I'm just about to uh, enjoy a lovely coffee from my Stanley flask. Proper Stanley flask, one of those stupid cups that uh, seem to be really popular at the moment and going viral. <clears throat> anyway, better talk to you about the whole flipper point of this video, hadn't I? You see, recently I attempted to film a video, beautiful location in the middle of the Shropshire Hills where there's wild horses, beautiful hills, and the conditions were unbelievable. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for better conditions. Perfectly still air, completely opposite to today, clear skies and a clouded version. The photographer's dream. And yet, I had a terrible time. I didn't enjoy myself at all. I went home absolutely miserable from that because the expectations I had weren't the right ones. I've been holding myself to such a standard at the moment that because I'm not reaching that standard, it's been ruining photography for me completely. I've just not enjoyed it for a long time because I'm expecting amazing results, especially when the conditions are perfect. Now on that particular day, uh, I arrived a little bit late just after sunrise, which is what not what I wanted. The traffic was bad. I didn't get there at the time I expected. And there were loads of other people there as you'd expect, because it was a beautiful morning and there were going to be photographers there and people walking their dogs and all sorts. Now, I was going there expecting to get these amazing pictures to come home with a crop, of, a whole new crop of pictures for my portfolio. And because of that, because I didn't meet those expectations, it was just, it felt like a wasted morning. Contrast that with today. I came out with very, very low expectations today. In fact, it's reached my expectations because it's absolutely tipping down and windy. I can't even use my proper camera because it's so wet. And yet, I am having an absolutely awesome time. Honestly, it might not look it because I'm soaking wet, but none of that matters because I've had a great adventure. And I've even got some pictures I wasn't expecting to get. Now, it didn't matter if I got those pictures whatsoever. They weren't the important thing. The important thing was that I got out and did something adventurous. So my advice to you is, if you aren't getting the results you want, maybe try lowering your expectations. Then when you do get amazing results and they're unexpected, then the feeling of elation you'll have will honestly outshine anything from those glorious days where you expect to get something good. It might sound counterintuitive, but honestly, it's what works for me. Anyway, the morning's not over. I think we've still got some good pictures in the bag. Let's go find out. Still carrying this. Right, let's drive around this rock and see what we can find on the other side. So just pulling this lay by here because uh, as you can see, we've got this road that leads to the rock from the other angle, but we've got these trees sort of making a frame around it. Now, one issue we have is that the trees are completely bare. So this is the wrong time of year to be here. But if we come here when there's a few more leaves on the trees, or maybe even in autumn, this could create a lovely frame, especially if the rock catches some light. So this one's being logged for a location to come back to, maybe late summer, autumn, we'll see. So here we have a beautiful scene being painted. As you can see, we've got the rock off in the distance. We've got these power lines leading to it. 
and there's a sheep staring me down in the foreground. Could it be any more Welsh? To be honest, today's conditions are just about perfect for what I want. Grey, flat, moody. Ideal. So here's something just about perfect. We have here uh, these power lines going over the top of... Where is it? I can't see it. Over the top of the uh, rock over there. And there's even some very friendly little birds up here somewhere. I can't see them now. But they've just been hanging out. I think they are swifts, uh, which is, I think, a little bit early to be seeing them this time of year, but they've arrived early. I can think of one very popular YouTuber who would absolutely love this scene, power lines framing a subject. Well, I think what today has proved is that having those lower expectations vastly improves the results you actually get. Because I'm not sure any of those photos are portfolio worthy. I won't know till I get home and test them out in Lightroom. But I do know that I will go away feeling like this has been a massive success. And I think that is the key to just having better results, is just to have those expectations of, I'm just gonna go out on my camera and see what happens. I know people have preached that for years, but actually doing it is, is really difficult, especially when you're, you know, you're trying to produce content and get some sort of following from photography. But I think making it less about the photography and more about the adventure is what people actually care about. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. And it's what I recommend you keep doing. Let me know what you think. By the way, as well, do you like this sort of video, this vloggy adventure video? I'm thinking of doing more of them. I certainly enjoy making more of them. I'd love for you to join me on the next adventure. So if you want to, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time.